Hi, my name is Rick Sanchez. I'm with a company called Tractor Tip Equipment, and what we have for sale here today is a Dynapack. This is a uh, CA262 PD, PD standing for pad foot. Uh, the serial number is 6762028. I'm going to leave that last digit blank. We're going to talk about the mechanics of this particular machine in the first clip, the operating specs in the second, we'll run it in the third. Price on a new machine these days is, uh, I'll bet they're over $150,000. Uh, this machine currently has 3,467 hours on it. As far as manufacturers go, uh, Dynapack is, a, uh, is ubiquitous out there, especially when it comes to compaction equipment. I think that's where they, what put them on the map. Um, the weight of this machine is 26,675 pounds. The widest point is actually the uh, those those uh, that trunnion area for the roller, which is uh, seven foot seven inches, seven foot seven and a half inches. Highest point is the top of that cab at nine foot ten inches, and the transportation length from the end of this counterweight to the front of that uh, uh, roller assembly is uh, 19 feet. Comparable machines are like a Hom 3412, maybe a CAT um, CP 563. As far as the history of this machine goes, this machine, like almost all the machines we purchase, is an original owner Dallas, Texas machine. I say that because we don't work in a corrosive environment. Uh, we're 300 miles from the ocean and we're far enough south that we don't see any snow or anything like that, so we don't. We don't get into any salt. The only salt we see is the salt on our kitchen tables. Just about every machine we purchase comes from one of about 30 different contractors or municipalities that we, large contractors or municipalities that we deal with here in the Metroplex. This particular machine had a conscientious uh, maintenance manager whose uh, maintenance program rivaled some of the best I've seen. We've been happy with all the machines that we've purchased from these guys, and it should be said that before I purchase any machine, my mechanics, Chris Massingale, the guy running the camera right now, and another guy, they thoroughly inspect the machine. And if the money's right, then I personally go out and I inspect the machine before we buy it. As far as options go, uh, it's pretty much a, uh, standard open cap roller that's got a got a battery disconnect here and this this is actually removable you know for theft purposes and whatnot but um, it doesn't have a radio or anything so there's no 12 volt outlet in the cab um, as far as the engine goes that engine is a Cummins QSB 6.7 uh, engine. It is a tier 3 engine. It's obviously water cooled. Uh, it's turbocharged. It has an after cooler which will add to your life. Again, it's a tier 3 engine. This machine has an 84.5 gallon uh, fuel tank which will run you 12 to as many as 18 hours depending on operation. This is sand right here, just so you know. Um, all of the fluid levels on this tractor are where they should be. This machine is mechanically sound. There's no leaks on it, everything works. Uh, it's pretty much just got a one speed transmission. It's a hydrostatic transmission. It uh, travels in forward and reverse, no problem. Top speed is 5.6 miles an hour. Uh, these tires here, as you can see, are about 85%. These tires are, uh, they're 23.126s. Um, the hydraulics are strong on this machine. This machine is quite possibly one of the hardest compacting vibratory compactors I've ever come across. 
Uh, Chris was moving it into the shop the other day and he turned the uh, compactor on and I was in that far back office and uh, it, it literally was shaking the uh, my coffee pot up my coffee cup off the table um, I guess I can find out what the uh, centrifugal force on this machine is I, I forgot to do that but anyway the hydraulics are strong there's no cracks or welds anywhere in this This articulation joint is good and tight. There's no, there's no deflection. You can see the uh, striker bars on the bottom here. They're about 85 percent. These pads are about 85 percent. You can get in there and see those. So it all around is a. Uh, is a good running machine. It ties all the knots and uh, as far as things wrong with it, the lights on this side aren't working. Uh, we'll figure that out. We just we just noticed that just now. It, it just stopped working. Uh, what else, Chris? Uh, nothing I can think of. Let's run it. Okay, we're going to run it in the next clip. Go! switch right here. No, it's not. This is your ignition switch. Here's your hour meter. This is 3461 on the hours. All the gauges work. Here's your hour meter. This is your button for your uh, to turn it on, on and off your vibration. You got high high frequency and low frequency and that's pretty much it.